Tuscan style rain barrel purchased from Home Depot. That's our gutter by Rain Saver Gutter Systems, in the Florida Keys. That's our downspout and where the barrel is going to go there for. There's black dirt there, not a stable enough basis for the rain barrel. Uh, Victor's in our way, so we got to take it out of the way. We're going to swing our shovel. I never did find that nail. Okay, I'm going to truck that black dirt on out of there. I'm going to replace it with something stable enough, because our gutter pipe is going to go down through a precisely cut hole in the top of our rain barrel, and the rain barrel must not move a millimeter. I had to find somewhere to put this dirt. Found a low spot in our guard next to our starfruit. That's a bag of leveling sand. Horse leveling sand. The deep hole is a low spot to the side of where the barrel's gonna go. Give a place uh, for the water to drain. The tree roots grow in. The tree roots that would mess up the level of our rain barrel. Move it sideways. They have a low spot to go and attack that water. Leveling sand is stamped down with the feet and then watered into place, and then it just doesn't move. Finished off with gravel from the driveway and a 20 inch paving stone. Looks so good, I almost don't want to put anything there. Now the rain barrel's where it needs to be, but the gutter pipe is not yet down through the top of the barrel. With a razor knife, we cut the hole and just make it happen. But it's not high enough. There we go. Column blocks, giving it some elevation and a reason to flow downward. We give it some water pressure to make it flow through the soaker hoses or whatever we'll have in place to water our plants. And just make that Tuscan rain barrel soar into the air one story at a time with the column blocks, eight inches tall. I was able to use four of them to get that rain barrel to the maximum height. Now the water has a reason to flow. And our rain barrel sits ready to collect rain water. Superior water for watering plants or a way to flush the toilet if the utilities go out in a disaster. As a further note, I replaced the aluminum downspout segments with this flexible plastic model available from the same old home improvement store because it makes it easier to remove the lid and replace it back. Now I can fish leaves out with a little fish net from the pet store. Now going down this other side of the house we have a narrow walkway and there's another gutter there so we need another rain barrel if we want to collect all the water we possibly can. And in that narrow walkway uh, we don't want to have to step around another rain barrel nothing more than that propane tank we already have to step around and uh, yet I've got the gutter down up against the side of the house not arching over the walkway to go into the barrel set in the garden where it's more eloquent I've got a rainwater collection funnel there coming from a harvesting device that comes with the rain barrel and I only wound up using two of them from the rain barrels it gushes down through the center of that thing if the rainwater gets too heavy but it diverts a great deal through my gravity funnel and through a hose and down into a pipe and a pipe that goes under the ground. It actually joins another one to the left. And they both go under my feet there, through the garden, through a pipe, up through the center of that pylon where I've got the other rain barrel set and that rain barrel is filling from the bottom up through a white hose and a network of hoses that you can't even see. That's my book, The Non-Event Principle. I am D.C. Agar. That's a reason why you might need a rain barrel soon. I'm following current events on a Facebook page I started.